Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the GMA seasonal model for today's second video. So we'll be looking at the uh, possibilities for October, November and December, the final quarter, Q4 of uh, 2022. And uh, I shall get on with that for you very shortly, but it's going to be ahead of the uh, first seasonal model roundup for winter 2022, 2023. That's going to be released on Saturday morning. First scene one round up for the coming winter on Saturday morning. And uh, this, you know, ahead of that, we like to isolate this one out and have a look at this one in its own terms. But uh, the scene one round of winter will be on the way at the uh, weekend. Just to say that the first video we say was our 6 a.m. upload. We've got a 10 to 14 day with all the great features coming up to you later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share, subscribe on the videos. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, so we're going to start off with the uh, 500 millibar high to for the, for the Arctic and North Pole view down for October next month. So this should be the most reliable part of the whole thing, uh, really. So blue is extrapolating to uh, low pressure, blue average heights, low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red above average heights is high pressure. Um, no, we can see that uh, October is going to have quite a big ridge uh, to our south and southeast. Probably going to be some lower pressure up here. And um, that should start pulling the wind in from a southerly to southwesterly type direction. So that looks like quite a warmish, dryish pattern, uh, actually, for October. Going through to November, we look like that. So by then, it looks like the heights are pulling out into the Atlantic. You've got some low pressure or lower pressure up here. You probably look at that and think it's going to be quite a dry settlement, but I think it could be a little bit more changeable, actually, than that um, would be hint at, with the wind tending to come a little bit more from a west or a northwesterly uh, direction. So if this area of low pressure up here, that could bring some unsettled weather into the north. I think just generally a little, probably a little bit cooler and a little bit more unsettled with jets on a northwest southeast alignment and whatnot in uh, November. Now December looks very interesting, but it is month number three, so it's a long way out. But by then we get big area of high pressure in the Atlantic extending up to Greenland. There's a trough of low pressure in over Scandinavia. And it looks like this should be pulling wind in from like a north or a northeast direction. So it looks like that gets colder actually as we go through uh, to December. Could December be a cold and wintry type month? I mean it's a long way out. It's three months away, so it's uh, you know unreliable. But uh, definitely hints there of like a northeasterly, I think, normally to northeasterly for December. Uh, the period overall, October to December, looking like that, with the above average heights in the Atlantic. Um, remember, every month is, is different, though. So uh, October is like a warmish, driest, driest month. November is rather more changeable, cooler month and then potentially quite a cold month in uh december with northeasterly winds right let's have a look at the mid latitude view then so we can't see the arctic north pole greenland those areas are off the chart up here but we've had a look at that view down so we know what's going on we're in the top right hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it perched on the edge as we always are so uh we find that for month number one we're back to october high pressure is uh, centred just to our south, and we're drawing up this southwesterly, southerly type wind. The temperature anomaly for October is average to above average. Notice it's got these yellow colours sitting just to our south and east. So that temperature anomaly is like one to two degrees above average. So quite a warm month uh, being hinted at there for October. And more unsettled in the north, more unsettled in the north, with some above average rain for Scotland, but drier for Ireland, England and Wales. Heading through into November, we have that area of high pressure rain pulling out into the Atlantic. And it looks like it's early December jet stream on a northwest southeast uh, type alignment. The temperature anomaly, not as warm as it is in October, but still a little bit above average. Like half a degree or so above normal, probably. Um, and precipitation wise, we look like that in November. So it does go a little bit more unsettled. So it's like above average rainfall there. I've got to say, the wind arrow, didn't I? So for, for November, the mean wind direction is like west or northwesterly. You can see that from the black arrows coming through. That was a little bit different 
difficult to make those out. But I think they are coming out, coming in from like a west north west direction. Uh, back to October, just show you the wind arrows there. And uh, they're coming from like a southerly, southwesterly type direction then in uh, in October. So that's the reason October's a warmer month. November is a rather cooler month. Uh, right, so we go through into December, month number three, so a long way out now. Uh, you can see this big red area, that's high pressure in the Atlantic, and we know that that is exceeding northwards to Greenland uh, as well. So hints of like a northerly, possibly northeasterly type influence there. The temperature normally is still near normal, but you have to, if you look very, very closely, you have to look closely, you'll see just a little area of blue appearing there. Uh, across southern parts of England and northern France. And over here, there's a little bit of blue as well from western parts of Europe. So uh, a little bit below average river temperature anomaly, potentially, especially so for more southern and eastern areas. It is a bit on the drier side. So it's a drier month as we're blocking off the Atlantic. It's a colder month, of course, it tends to be drier as well. And the wind arrows, if you look, can look at those, uh, they're coming in from like a northerly or a northeasterly direction. Northerly or northeasterly is then uh, with the wind direction in December. Overall, the uh, period from October to December looking like this. High pressure centred in the Atlantic. The uh, temperature anomaly is about average, just slightly above, and the precipitation anomaly, just a little bit wetter than average for more northern areas. Uh, and then we go through to the mean wind direction, and it's sort of west-northwesterly, but bear in mind, every month is different with the wind direction. So October is suddenly southwesterly, November is west-northwesterly, and then December is north northeasterly. So every month is individual. And so I suppose the mean of the uh, three months isn't that helpful, really. Um, right, so quite an interesting update. Wow, wow, wow. What do you make of that, everyone? I don't know. Um, so obviously October is like the most reliable part of this. Generally uh, a drier, warmer type month in October again. Uh, and then things begin to change with a pattern a little bit through November, particularly December. Does have cold potential there if those winds do get into the northeast. Bear in mind, it's just a snapshot of what Morrill is showing. Any forecast, as we say, beyond five to seven days comes with big health warnings and large pictures of start attached. So it is going to be interesting to see, you know, how this works out over the next three months. It's also going to be very interesting to see whether any other models are agreeing with this sort of outlook going into winter. When we do our first winter 2022-2023 season model roundup, and that will be coming up for you on Saturday morning. So it's going to be a very interesting watch, I think, on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, you'll be able to see there. And we've got all of the uh, long range models together, about 15 of them, and um, for the first time this season, see what they're all showing for the winter. And as I say, that will be coming up for you probably about 10, half 10, something like that on Saturday morning. If you enjoyed the video, then please you like, share, subscribe. We're going to be back a little bit later on your 10 to 14 day. That's going to include all the break feats as well. But for Jeremy Wednesday, for a seasonal model, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.